Hi there. We are going to continue with our selection tools and some options for that tool and look at how to use the eraser tool and feathering our selections in order to really integrate pictures with one another. The idea is that you don't want your image to look like photos are just slapped together or slapped one on top of something else, but they look like they really belong together. One other cool way to make a selection is to um, use the paintbrush painting with gray like we did in a previous project. So what you want to do is add a new layer on top of all layers get your brush and make sure you have a gray color selected and you can just paint into an area that you want to make into a selection and with the selection then you can add things to it or inside of it so i just painted over this area of trees in the foreground and what you do, uh, you've already practiced this if you did a gradient. You're going to go to that layer and tap on it with two fingers or right click if you have a mouse and select pixels. That will turn whatever you painted into a selection. And now we're just going to file, open in place. And we wanna add another photo to an existing project which you know I call hoagie. And you can get your move tool and move the picture to basically where you want it. Of course, you can always move it again. And click on your roster mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And boom, you have your photo inserted into that area that you painted. That's a really nice way to work. And in fact, you can just click on this painted layer and get rid of it, delete. If you want to move your photo inside, remember to unlock your mask from your photo, click on your photo, and you can move this thing inside to where you want it. And then lock it back up again. All right, then we will move on to feathering a selection and what you want to do is click on any of your selection tools um, and you should always put your feather pixel measurement in first before you draw your selection so I'm going to click here and bump this up to about 27 pixels that's the number of pixels that will be softened on the edge of your selection. So you can play around with this and decide what will work best for your project. I'm just gonna pick 27, get my ellipse selection tool and hold the shift key to create a perfect circle. And now I'm going to place something in that. File, open in place. Again, you can move this over to where you want it. I'm actually going to resize it after I mask it. So then you go down to your roster mask icon and click right on it. And I want to make this lady a little bit smaller. So I'm going to unlock the mask from the photo, click on the photo. You can go edit free transform. I'm going to hold the shift key so that nothing gets distorted. And then lock it back up. So as you can see, this has a real soft edge around the selection. I could probably make her even smaller in there. And we can move this anywhere you like. I'm gonna put her kind of up here. So the feathering just gives that softness and it really helps integrate your 
top picture with something that's underneath. And we'll try something a little similar to that, but we're going to use the eraser tool this time. So the eraser tool can act as a softening tool to soften edges, which is really great for integrating photos seamlessly into a background or with each other. So this is the eraser tool right here. If you don't see it, well, you would see something very similar. We're not going to work on the background eraser tool, just the regular eraser tool. And for what we're going to do, we sh should choose a brush that is soft. So it's kind of like a feathered brush. So I'm going to take the hardness down quite a bit. And you'll see that change up here. So it looks like a feathered brush. The other thing you want to work with when you do use the brush in this way is to make sure your eraser brush is quite large. So as you can see, mine is pretty, a pretty large brush. But we can adjust that as we go. So file open in place. I'm going to pick a different photograph. And I want to get rid of these hard edges on the top and the bottom so that I just have this lady here with maybe some of the background showing. So you've got your eraser tool. It's feathered, so it's a, it's a very soft brush, and it's pretty big. If it asks to be rasterized, just click OK. And as you can see, I can click along the top and really get rid of that line, which so that it doesn't look like we just slapped something on top of something else. Um, I'm just clicking along the edge. The other cool thing is you can adjust the opacity. So you could take that down so that when you click with your eraser brush, you're letting some of the um, picture still show through. So just practice with it. I want to definitely get rid of that line that looks horrible in there. So if you turn in something with pictures with you know, really hard edges and it doesn't look like they're integrated, that's not really doing the project properly. Then you can just decide how much of the other background you want to show through in your picture. Play around with it. And there we have a few different ways to work with selections. Feathering is an option once you're clicked on the selection tool. And when you click on the eraser tool, you're given the options of the softness or hardness of the brush and the opacity, which you can um, take down so that you can really blend what's on top with what's underneath.